Good day, synthetic division of polynomials. One of the first things you need to note is that when you're doing synthetic division that you can't divide by something if it has an exponent. So you can only divide by these linear, okay, these linear expressions here. So if you're dividing by x squared minus one, or if you're dividing, you know, by x cubed plus two, Okay, that synthetic division, when you're doing synthetic division, that it won't work if you have these, these exponents. Okay, synthetic division will not work if you're using these exponents. So if you see something like this, just remember that's, uh, that, that's not going to work. It has to be linear. And what I mean by linear is you see there's no exponent here. Okay, there's no exponent. No exponent. So if you see these exponents, uh, then synthetic division won't work. Okay, synthetic division only works for these linear type. Okay, other than that, synthetic division is fairly fairly easy. Um, let me kind of set set this up for you. Uh, let's see. So I guess we'll work on this top one, uh, top one first. And what you want to do first thing you want to do is you want to take this divisor. Okay, this is your dividend. This is your divisor. You want to put the divisor equal to zero. So x minus 2 equals 0, and then solve for x. By adding 2 to both sides, we get x equals 2. Okay, this is going to be what you're dividing by, this x equals 2. So what you could do is you could take these, um, these coefficients. Okay, remember, a coefficient is the number that's attached to your variable. This is your variable. This is your coefficient. Okay, negative 5, when you're taking the coefficient, you have to take the sign as well. So negative 5 is a coefficient here of this variable x. So you're going to take these coefficients and you're just going to kind of write them out like this. And then what you do is you could take this divisor that we just solved for and you just kind of put it down here like this too. Okay, maybe draw a line if you want. So first step, we're going to bring down the 6. Okay. Then we're going to multiply it 6 times 2. 6 times 2 give us 12, and we're going to write that here, 12. Okay, now we're going to add negative 5 and 12. Negative 5 and 12 give us a positive 7. Okay, now we're going to take that positive 7, multiply it by 2. 7 times 2, that's 14. Okay, positive 14. Um, 10 and 14 give us 24, positive 24. Now this very last one here, okay, this is the last last kind of operation that we do here. This is going to be your remainder. Okay, this is your remainder. Now, we have this these these numbers here we just kind of solved using the synthetic division. And to finish what we're going to do, okay, is you see that here we have this x squared Okay, so for here, we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent. So instead of x squared, we have 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So instead of x squared, we just have x to the first power. So that's just 6x. Okay, same here. We have 5x to the first power. So instead of x to the first power, we have x to the 0, which is 1. So there's no, there's no um, variable here. Okay, we're just basically just subtracting one from these from these variables, the exponent. We're subtracting one from the, the uh, exponent on the variables. Okay, so we get 6x plus 7 uh, plus the remainder, 24, is going to be 24 over x minus 2. Remember, this is what we're dividing by. So our remainder, we have 24 over x minus 2. And this is your answer. Okay, 6x plus 7 plus 24 divided by x minus 2. Okay, next problem, what we're going to do is we're going to take this here, this divisor, put it equal to 0. So we have 2x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, subtracting 1 from both sides, we have 2x equals negative 1. And then dividing both sides by 2, we get x equals negative 1 half. Okay, this is what we're going to be using for our divisor. And now at this point, we're just going to simply take these um, coefficients, just kind of write them out, 2, negative 3, positive 8, maybe draw a line underneath. 
and then negative one half, that's our divisor. Okay, first step, bring down this two. Okay, then we're gonna take two times negative one half. Two times negative one half is negative one. So we write that in here, negative one. Now add vertically here, negative three and negative one give us negative four. Okay, then we're gonna take this negative four Multiply by negative one half. Negative four times negative one half give us positive two. Okay, so we write that in positive two. Now multiply these out here, or excuse me, add these. Positive eight and positive two give us positive ten. Okay, and there's there's kind of our um, halfway to the answer. Now remember this positive ten. This is the remainder. And here's something to note that if you see um, a common factor here, okay, in these numbers here, um, when I'm saying that, do not, uh, do not do this for the remainder. Leave the remainder alone. Okay, maybe draw a box around it. Leave the remainder alone. But for all these other numbers here to the left of the remainder, if you see a common factor, you can kind of take it out. Okay, so kind of the opposite of distributing. So we're taking out a 2. Okay, that leaves one here and negative two here. Okay, if you see a common factor in these numbers here, go ahead and take them out. So now we get our answer. We get x minus two plus 10, okay, over two x plus one. Here is our answer. Now remember that this x minus two plus 10 over two x plus one, okay, this, this, uh, exponent here see here this this line this whole line that we worked with here to the very left we were working here 2x squared okay but the very answer that we get down here okay it's just going to be x by itself there's not going to be x squared it's just x because remember we're subtracting one from the exponent okay this exponent was two now the exponent is one see just one by itself x to the first power here we are working with x Okay, x to the first power, now it's x to the zero power, which is equal to one. So instead of an x, we don't have anything. There's nothing here. Okay, so we're basically subtracting one. We're kind of shifting everything over. Okay, where we had an x squared, now we just have an x. Where we have an x, we just have a number here by itself, constant by itself. Okay, and then also once again, the remainder, we add a plus 10 for the remainder. It's going to be 10 divided by whatever the, the divisor was, so 2x plus 1. So the remainder is 10 over 2x plus 1. So here's our answer, x minus 2 plus 10 over 2x plus 1. Okay, once again, first step, let's put the divisor equal to 0. So we have x plus 2 equals 0. So x equals negative 2. Okay, this is going to be our divisor. Okay, we're going to write out the coefficients. 2, negative 3, positive 4, and positive 5. Draw a line underneath if you want. And then put the divisor here, negative 2. Okay, first step, bring down that 2. I'm going to say 2 times negative 2. That gives us negative 4, so we write it in here, negative 4. Okay, adding negative 3 plus neg uh, negative 4 give us negative 7. Then we're going to take negative 7, multiply it by negative 2. Negative 7 times negative 2 give us a positive 14. Okay, then adding vertically, positive 4 plus positive 14 give us a positive 18. Okay, then we're going to take positive 18 times negative 2. 18 times negative 2 give us a negative 36. Okay, and then adding 5 plus negative 36 give us a negative 31. And once again, this very last one, this is your remainder. And once again, what we're going to do is, here you have this exponent cubed. So this is going to be 2x squared. So we have 2x squared minus 7x. 7x because here we have x squared. Okay, this is our line that we're working with, the x squared. So subtracting 1 instead of x squared, now we have just x. Okay, here we have x. So 
uh, now we don't have anything. <laughs> so we just have positive 18. And then minus 31, okay, divided by x plus 2. So negative 31 over x plus 2. Okay, that's our remainder. So here's our answer. 2x squared minus 7x plus 18 minus 31 over x plus 2. Okay, synthetic division is not very difficult. Uh, another thing to note is that let's say you're doing synthetic division and you do all this work and then there's no remainder. Let's say you, you get something and there's no remainder. There's no remainder here when you do it. Okay, if you're doing all this work and you get it without a remainder, then whatever your answer is, is going to be a, a factor. Um, so let me kind of go ahead and explain that to you. Okay, this is what I mean. All right, let's do, remember our first step, we're going to put this divisor equal to zero. So we have x minus 2 equals zero. So we have x equals 2. Okay, then we're going to take our coefficients. Okay, if you don't see a number out in front, that just means the coefficient is 1. So we have 1 plus 1 minus 2 minus 8. Okay, then our divisor 2. Okay, so bring that first number down, 1. 1 times 2, that gives us 2. Okay, then adding 1 plus 2 gives us positive 3. And positive 3 times 2 gives us positive 6. Okay, negative 2 and 6 give us positive 4. And then 4 times 2 give us a positive 8. Negative 8 plus 8 give us 0. Okay, so here, once again, here's our, our remainder. We don't have a remainder. Okay, there's no remainder. What we're left with is kind of uh, x squared plus 3x plus 4. Okay, with no remainder. Okay, so what that means is if you have something and you get the answer here and there's no remainder in the answer, that means that x minus 2 is a factor. Okay, x minus 2 is a factor of this. Okay, if I were to factor this, this polynomial out and I would get x minus 2 as a factor. So that's kind of what I was trying to tell you earlier, that if you have something where you have 0 as a remainder, and that means that your divisor is a factor. All right, you made it to the end of this short video on synthetic division of polynomials. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, please hit the like button down below, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.